Hello and welcome to the studio. My name is Vin Jelly and I'm going to do a painting demonstration of a sunny lane in watercolour and then I'll rescue it in acrylic because it didn't quite work out how I wanted it in watercolour. Um, I drew it out first of all um, reasonably accurately in pencil, watercolour pencil, watercolour soluble pencil that is, uh, light grey as you can see there grey lines at the bottom just indicate some of it that's still left visible while the watercolour is going on and then I start washing in. Now the thing is I've been painting quite a lot in acrylics this week and really I kind of had a feeling that um, I might actually rather paint this in acrylic so I wasn't really fully concentrating with watercolour and um, although I've been doing a lot of watercolour painting too I kind of knew that I had the urge to paint in acrylic so all this watercolour work that's going on at the moment really wasn't fully concentrating and it wasn't really gelling how I wanted it to um, so you can see the acrylics are beginning here I did do a little bit of gouache work first but it wasn't going right either but I knew that I could take it where I wanted with the acrylics um, I think the composition is a little bit one-sided really, it's a bit too dark on the right. I could probably crop it a little bit to uh, improve the shape of the composition. Um, and during this lockdown of the coronavirus, which is a real nightmare for many people, um, I'm going on regular walks and taking photographs, but um, it's not the same as working outside really. And in lieu of working outside, photography has to do, so I'm trying to take the best photos I can. Um, Part of my interest in this subject was the large shadow area because there's light within it and there's lots of variety of foliage in it and I was hoping to try and make something of that but I think, as I said earlier, I think it's slightly imbalanced. At the end I introduced some rays of light coming in from the top right um, which adds a little bit of interest and I add those in with pencil crayon on top of the acrylic um, which gives it an almost chalky feel of diffused light um, coming from the right hand side. Um, so overall there's quite a few different techniques in here, there's a bit of spattering, a bit of stippling and um, quite a lot of variety of brushwork. Um, certain of the acrylic is dealt with in a watercolour manner as well, uh, slight small washes and uh, adjustments made and um, basically it's a lovely subject the, the um, cottages that are just at the end of the lane there are quite beautiful I've drawn them a couple of times from different angles in different sketchbooks and things but uh, it's the first time I've painted them so uh, there you can see the pencil crayons going in as well just to touch in some of the branches and there's a rigger brush do some of the fine twigs and branches on those trees so just putting on some of the finishing touches there as I start to tighten up some of the detail areas, take off the tape. Still a few bits of touching up to go and then that's more or less it. You can see the raking light from the top there just coming in, dusty diffusion of light. So hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and uh, see you on the next one.